Hi, this is Larry from Droid TV. I want to talk to you today about how you can do an expansion on your Droid TV bundle box. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a hard drive. So we're going to take that 120, 130 show limit and we're going to kick it up to about 3,000. So by adding a one terabyte drive, uh, there are several drives that you can use. I happen to like the Vipper drive and I like it for two reasons. Number one, it has its own power adapter, okay? Uh, it doesn't use the power from the box. Saves heat buildup, saves all kinds of problems that way. Um, I don't know how well the power supply that comes with the bundle box would drive a hard drive on a long-term basis. So I wanted to make sure that I had something that had an external power supply. So that's number one. Number two, the Bipper drive which you can get from Amazon for about $80, comes pre-formatted in FAT32, which is what you need to run an Android application. So, what I've done is I've connected up the Bipper drive, I've connected the power, I've connected the, the drive into the side uh, of the USB port. Now my setup's a little bit different here. This is where I actually create the bundles and I program them, uh, because I have a full-size keyboard and a mouse on here. But your setup would be very basically the same. You'll have your small keyboard, you'll have whatever the case may be that way. Um, one thing that you're going to need to download is you're going to need to download the Astro File Manager. And that can be gotten from the Play Store. It's free. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Astro File Manager because I have it already on here. Now, one of the things that I have done is I've preset this one up. So we're going to kind of go over what I've done and then I'm going to show you the way um, that you would do it as a fresh install. Uh, from the Astro File Manager you go to Locations and you go to Mount and that's going to show you things like your external SD which is the SD card in the side, the internal SD, uh, the SD card which is therefore uh, therefore gig that they utilize inside the box and then at the end now you're going to see something called USB storage and I want you to pay attention to the way that that's spelled. It's USB underscore S-T-O-R-A-G-E. So it's USB underscore storage. All right, under mount. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Bipper drive. And you're going to notice that it now says, okay, we're USB drive number one. And that's designated with USB underscore D-I-S-K zero. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go into that. At this point right now, you're actually getting to the software on the drive itself. One more step to go yet. They also require what's called UDisk Zero. So by going into there, that's actually in the drive itself. Now I've already created a movies directory, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. Um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to come up to the folder here with the plus sign, click on that, and we're going to call our new folder Movies 2. Real simple as can be. Click Create, and boom, you've created a new folder. Now we already have the folder created that we're actually going to use, but let's take this a step further. You're going to open up Movies 2, and again it's going to be empty, and what you need to do is create a folder inside of it. And we're going to call that Droid TV. And we're going to create that folder. So, so in essence, what you're going to have is you're going to have this part of this part of the segment get you to the drive and writable. And then the beyond part, the, the movies two and the Droid TV, is actually what's on the drive. I don't like to use the lowest level. A format in the uh, our lowest level of folder. I always like to go one folder in. Just makes things a little bit more convenient and easier to utilize. So what we're going to do is that's the path that we're going to use. And it looks kind of convoluted the way that it is. But what we're going to do is we're going to create the custom path in Droid TV to match that lineup. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go into Droid TV. And it asked if I, if I wanted to watch it. What am I? We're going to go into Settings, into Preferences. And we're going to go to SD Memory Cards. And we're going to create the custom path. 
And the custom path that we're going to create is actually this right here. And it's mount USB underscore storage, USB disk zero, U disk zero, movies, and Droid TV. I want you to pay attention to the way that the underscores are, the slashes are, and the capitals are at various points in that path. All right. And once you've actually created that in the, in the path, it will, and I'm going to cancel this because I've already done it, it will show it right there. Mount USB storage, USB disk zero, U disk zero, movies, Droid TV. Then we're going to select it. It's going to give us that, the opportunity to select that drive. And that's what we've done. Now anything that you download is going to go directly to the hard drive. And again, you have about 3,000 shows you can now put on, on a terabyte drive. I like the Bipra drive because of the FAT32 formatting, also because of the external power supply. I've also used a couple of the little Toshiba drives. These are one terabyte drives as well. But they don't have a secondary plug for power. So what I've done with those is I've gone out and I've gotten a split. So I can plug this into the drive, plug this into the wall, and then connect a cable to go from here to the to the Android box. And that way it will it will give it will still give you a secondary power supply rather than running it from the power on the box. You can get those. There are a lot of drives out there that have their own power supplies. If you buy one that is not pre-formatted FAT32, there are plenty of utilities out there on the web. Just Google Format Drive FAT32. And there are a few of them that are out there that are good. Uh, you can just you run those little routines and it'll reformat the drive FAT32. The Bipra is nice because it comes right already pre-formatted FAT32, ready to plug right into the box. Hopefully that's answered your questions about the drive. The, like I said, the, the, the custom path is the hardest part. And again, pay attention to both the upper and lower case and the underscores and the dashes, the slashes. So it's slash mount USB storage slash USB underscore disk zero slash U disk zero slash movies slash Droid TV slash and then a slash at the end. And that will be the custom path that you'll use to log your Bipper drive into your Android bundle box. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.